Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to fix Windows updates with one click. Now, there's a pretty useful little tool that you can use to fix Windows updates if you're having Windows updates issues. Maybe it's not updating properly, or maybe you're getting error codes or something along those lines when you're trying to update your version of Windows. Whether you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can use this tool that I'm going to show you to fix Windows updates. It also fixes other problems with your computer as well, which is pretty useful. And it's called Reset Windows Updates Tool. You can go to this website and download it. It's been constantly updated. And you can see here, five years, it's been uh, constantly updated by the creator. If you click on the wiki here, it will take you to the GitHub webpage where it shows you all about the actual tool here and the creator, uh, Miguel. So give them some support. It's a pretty good tool. And I think it's a useful tool for people that are having issues uh, with their Windows updates. So go to the download section here and hit the download button. You can see you can choose which one you want to use uh, for your downloads. As you can see, supports Windows 8 64-bit or later. They do have a 32-bit version there as well. And you can see some other download links there as well. So what I'm going to do is download the right one from my PC. And uh, we're going to say yes to the user account control. And we're going to get this installed on the system. So let's go ahead and get this installed by clicking next. And then all we need to do here is agree to their terms and conditions here and say next here. Choose the destination where you want to install the program. It's only a small little program. So go next. And we're going to go next here. And this will get this installed. Now you need to make sure you run this as administrator. So you can see here on the left hand side, there will be an icon that suddenly appears. You can right click on this and run this as administrator. And you can say yes to the user account control here. And you should see now a little blue box popping up here saying reset Windows update tool. You can choose the language that you want to use. There's a plenty of different languages here. I'm going to be choosing zero for English and push enter. And then you're going to see this where you need to accept uh, their terms and conditions of use of this tool. So I'm going to say yes. Now you should see a list of one to 19 little tools you can use here to uh, fix a lot of problems. So the first one is really important. Open up the system protection. This is going to allow you to create a system restore point on your system just in case something goes wrong. It's always advisable to do that. You can see there's some other ones here like reset the Windows update components, delete the temporary files in Windows, open up the Internet Explorer options, run check disk on the Windows partition, also runs the system file checker tool, scans uh, the image for component store corruption, check whether the image has flagged as a corruption, performs repair operations automatically, clean up the suppressed components, and a bunch of other tools on here like delete any incorrect registry values, repair or reset the WinSock uh, settings, reset Microsoft Windows Store, false group policy updates, search for Windows updates, find the Windows product key, and explore other local solutions, and other things like that you can do with this tool. Now, this means that basically you can run this without going into the command prompt. So if you're not familiar with the command prompt, you can use something like this tool. This will allow you to create a restore point here just in case you want to go back uh, to a time when it was working correctly. And this is very useful as well. So let's take a look at some of these features and see how they work. So if you've got an issue with your Windows update, you can reset the Windows update components. And what this will do is basically you'll go through a bunch of commands here. You've seen me make videos on this before where you're having to go into the command prompt and type a bunch of commands or run a batch file or something along those lines. This will do all of this for you and you could just sit back and let it try to fix uh, your issue. And this is a really common way of fixing Windows problems. And it's all done with one click of a button. You just basically click on this and it will do a lot of fixes for you here. So you can see a bunch of stuff happening in the background. It will stop services and uh, do some stuff and then restart these services as well. So pretty useful. Once that's completed successfully, you can press the any key to uh, get to the next list here. So we can now do something else. So let's go ahead and try another option here. So let's take a look at what we've got here that we want to uh, take a look at. So let's take a look at number seven, scan the image for component store corruption. This is a pretty common a command that you're going to have to run inside the command prompt here, but this will do it all for you. So we'll click on this one and type seven 
and away you go. It's basically going to do a bunch of stuff here inside this little blue screen here. You don't have to open up command prompt or anything like that. This will take care of it all for you. So I'll speed this process up. But once this is done, you should see a message saying everything uh, successfully scanned and there was no corruption or it fixed a bunch of problems that you may be having. Now, you can do a lot of this stuff in command prompt, like I've said, and you can create batch files and scripts and there's a bunch of stuff on the Internet which you can use. The good thing about this tool is it does a lot of the hard work for you and you don't need to be an expert on computers to run this tool because it is installed on the system and you can run these by just typing in the number on the screen there which you want to run a test on. So that's how good this tool is. It makes it much more easier for people uh, who want to do certain things and they're not quite uh, comfortable about going into the uh, your registry or into the command prompt here. So that is the tool in a nutshell, really. It does a pretty good job. You can run number 13 here, and this will also reset and clear Microsoft Windows Store cache. So if you've got a problem with the Windows Store, which a lot of people do have sometimes, you can run this tool, and uh, what will happen is you will suddenly see the Windows Store populate and come up. Now, maybe your Windows Store is not opening. You can run this tool, and it should try to fix and resolve uh, those issues you're having with the Windows Store there. Now, one thing you've got to learn when you're running tools like this is you have to be patient and let the tool do its job. It's working in the background, so be patient. And when it's completed, you should see the Microsoft Store uh, populate up on the screen here. And that means it's now working and it's been reset and fixed, which is a very good tool to have. So there's a bunch of other tools inside here which you can use. We're not going to go through all of them, but I'm pretty sure that you'll see in this list there's a tool that will help you fix PCs a lot more quicker and easier by using it. So I'll leave all the links and information in the video description. And hopefully Miguel will continue his hard work to keep this tool updated and keep it working. So if you want to uninstall the tool, all you need to do here is go to your control panel here, uninstall a program, and you will see the tool listed in here, which means it does come with an uninstaller, which is useful for people that want to uninstall the program after they've finished. It won't hurt to leave it on the system. You can leave it installed. There's no big uh, problem leaving it on the system once you've finished using it. It will be a very useful tool to have. Remember, guys, if you've got any problems with your computers, you can always come over and join our Discord server. We've got a bunch of technicians on there that are willing to help you for free to try and help you resolve your problems or even give you advice on PC builds or whatever it is that you need advice on as long as it's technology related. Also, if you've got any tools that you'd like to see me make a video on, then let me know in the comments section below and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Again, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. The names are rolling up on the screen right now. There's some new ones on there, so thank you very much for the support. I really do appreciate it. And I shall see you on the Discord server and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Thank you.